What do you do when you're being treated unfairly, when things are not right? That's what we want to look at today on Two Minute Truths. What parent hasn't heard their children say, it's not fair, it's not right, they shouldn't be able to get away with that? Well, that's kind of how I feel when I read 2 Samuel chapter 15 and 16. There's stuff in there that's just not fair, it's just not right. There, King David's son Absalom shows this unwarranted contempt for his father. I mean, Absalom steals David's people away from him, winds up stealing his kingdom away from him. David's advisors and friends turn to Absalom, and, and Absalom thumbs his nose at David and sleeps with his father's wives. It's just not right. And then on top of that, David, instead of fighting, he surrenders and leaves town. And while he's leaving town, there's this man by the name of Shammai that's throwing rocks at David and cursing David all along the trail. And yet David tells his soldiers to leave him alone and let him do it. That's not right. That's not fair. And on top of all of that, where's God in all of this? Has God abandoned justice? Does he not care that this stuff is unfair? Is he still punishing David for his sins with Bathsheba? This just isn't right. And yet, despite all the things that are unfair in these two chapters, there's one thing that David teaches us, and that is that we can trust the plan and the sovereignty of God, even when things seem unfair. He reminds us that God has everything in his hands, that if God hasn't changed something, it's for a reason. He reminds us that God is in control and we can trust him. We are taught in these chapters that it's not about fairness. It's about reliance. So this week, when you're running into things that just don't seem right and they just don't seem fair, don't look for fairness. Learn how to rely on God in the midst of it. I'll see you next week.